Franchising. Put your shit together and do what you think you believe in. There's nothing to be sorry about. Well, I mean, I'm going off also what you've told me. Trends. What has Rodgers done every time everyone criticizes him in the past, even the past couple of years when they say, oh, yeah, he's not going to – he he's, he think he's going downhill. Oh no, he's only thrown what one touchdown in the game. Uh, man, this offense hasn't been consistent. You don't think he's listening? He knows. Oh, that, no. That's why. That's why I think December football. I mean, last week, yeah, they played it in in Green Bay versus Washington. But the thing is, it, that Bears Packers rivalry elevates everything. It's that rivalry. It's just in Lambo. And like I said, the last home game in the regular season. You don't think Rodgers wants to put a big old W and on the, the board? Two hundredth or... meeting between this ha- historical rivalry. I mean that there's a lot of historical implications. They're going to make a big deal out yeah. of this on both sides. I think we're having what, two or three games. In the league. Well, they're the only two teams in the league that have played two hundred times. There's not even a team, two teams that are even close to that yet. Like but what I'm saying is, I, were we ahead two or three games in the rivalry? What's that? We're we're ahead two or three games in the rivalry, up correct? Two games in it. Yeah. Yeah. So if we win, it, so it put us three games up, or you know, or if they win it, where they'd be up by one. But yeah, we we lead the we lead the series only by two games. Now look, for as crappy as the Packers were for all those years, and and when the Packers were really good, the Bears were going through a stretch, right? Is that not awesome that after a hundred years of playing each other, that the the leader in the series is only up by two games? Just think about how how almost damn near impossible that is. The Bears That's through awesome. the seventies and eighties extended the lead so far over Green Bay. I think it was like a, like a thirty five game games, lead. I think. Yeah, and and within half the time, and that took that took literally almost like four. Uh, that was a so you start all the way back to Papa Bear Hallis. Till then, that took that long to get that type of lead. Packers took Favre and Rogers to get twenty five years of just bing gone back to back to leading the rivalry. And I'm just saying, just overall, it's just hard to wrap your head oh, around no, it's, that. Like it's awesome. this is history. Yeah, two hundred, two hundred cool. matchup. I mean, it's it doesn't get any bigger. It's it's and the thing is, I get they have the Buffalo and the Steelers on there, but the thing is, why didn't they have this as a Sunday night game? I'm sorry, this is the two hundredth matchup of the rivalry. You're playing for a playoff spot on this. Either team. Yeah. They they failed a lot on their flexing. Dude, the NFL I dropped the like, ball like three, four weeks in a row now. On and the Colts and the Saints, flexed. the Colts and the Saints. Come on, there's a like, lot of good games that have been that have been kind of swept under the one p.m. mark that we needed to see in prime time or the four o'clock games or prime time. Over the last four weeks, they've dropped the ball bad. Well, I'm gonna say again, folks. Um, I did. Like I said, I went ahead out and uh, I didn't mean to give my final thoughts along there, but I'm going to say it again. They're going to be accountable. You're going to see Rodgers in December mode, last game of the regular season of Lambeau Field. It looks like we might get a, a post game. I mean, not a post game, a postseason game, folks, at Lambeau this year, the way they're sitting in the buy spot if they keep winning and they went out. But. This is the last regular season game. So I think Rodgers recognizes that. I think LaFleur recognizes that. I think they I think they uh, play bigger than what the Bears are expecting. Well, my final thoughts, I guess, I'm just going to say this. It's the 200th matchup. Get out there. Get your friends together. If you have Bears friends that you can get along with, get together this weekend. Make a barbecue. You're like this is one of those historical weekends for Packers and Bears that you want to do your best job to make memories because they're not going to play for the 200th time in the 100th season. Yeah. Man. Like like honestly, it's like 
and and you know try try not to have too many beers and try not to be jerks to each other if you're in in a in a bar out there like do us a favor bears and packer fans everybody out there enjoy this for what it is cuz again you're never going to see them play for the 200th time in the 100th season again this is a, this is one it doesn't happen a this lot once in a lifetime right here this is one of those moments one of those things that you're you're going to want to try to do the best to make some really cool memories so that's my let, final thought on this one is wrap your heads around just the gravity of how cool this is of the matchup is two game difference in a 200 time plan in the 100th season on Sunday at 1 o'clock and enjoy it and make lots of great memories. Thanks for listening, folks. Yep. Have a good one. Go, Pack, go. What you got, what you got, cause I'm and as always, you can follow us on the Twitter. It's at First and Goal Pod. Myself, Jay Andrews, is at UPJ33. Dave Steger is at Steg and Cheese. And you can follow the fantasy wonder himself, Dylan Busby, at Dylan Busby1. You can email all your questions and comments to first and goal podcast at yahoo.com. <coughs> Hit us up on Facebook. It's facebook.com backslash first and goal pod 33. Follow us on all the major platforms. Like, share us on iTunes, iHeart, Spotify, Castbox, Tumblr, YouTube, SoundCloud. Search us, you'll find us. Hit us up. We enjoy you listening. Try to interact with us as much as possible. This show is all about you, even if you're not a Packer fan. We want to answer your questions in the best we can. So get a hold of us, interact with us. We appreciate it. Have a good weekend. And remember, enjoy it this weekend. Football's only here for three more weeks until the playoffs. Go Paco. Go Paco, folks.